Good morning, everyone. Thank you for registering for our Manage Engine webinar and also joining me for today's session. My name is Megha and I'm the product expert here at the AD Solutions team at Manage Engine. So if you have any questions during the session, please let me know using the Q&A or in case if you want to have a discussion in detail about today's session or about the product that we're going to be discussing at the end of the session, I'll be available after the session for a Q&A and a chat. So please let me know if you need anything else. So I hope you can see me, uh, see the screen and hear me well. In case you face any technical difficulties, please notify me as well. Great, so let me get to the agenda of today's session. So identity and access management is one of the central and most critical components of any organization security and a prominent aspect of compliance regulations. Now, digital transformation demands that IAM technology can seamlessly interoperate across your ecosystem, identifying and providing secure access to your customers, your workforce, and things at any touch point. So as you evolve your business to keep pace, you're likely struggling with the IAM software that is siloed, inflexible, and unable to scale as you grow. The old paradigm for identity and access management is just not capable of dealing with the mobile workforce, cloud-based networks and applications, and most importantly, the distributed labor at scale. So the common problem that we face with the legacy systems is the inability to understand and adapt to the new business models in an ever-changing world. So in, the, in today's session, what we're going to do is we're going to tackle with each of these uh, topics that I have mentioned in the agenda. That will be, that'll take up most of our session. And then at the end, we'll be covering, or I'll be introducing you to the tool from the Manage Engine Suite, which is going to help you upgrade your IAM or help you deal with the problems that you're facing in your current IAM environment. Now, one of the biggest problems with old style legacy IAM systems is that identity management for account requests and creation are controlled by scripts and manual processes. So in that paradigm, Fulfilling authorization and authentication requests is a time consuming, inefficient and labor intensive and offer prone to inaccuracies. Modern IAM systems do away with the old method and rely on automated and scalable processes to manage large volumes of requests with high accuracy. Now let's take an example of onboarding a new employee to the company. The first thing you would do is setting up uh, that particular user with access rights to the relevant assets is not a set and forget task, right? As the employees change the roles and responsibilities during their employee life cycle or the employment life cycle at the company, they will need access rights data uh, to data and application. During this process, the old permissions that are no longer required are often not revoked, mostly again due to manual processes and the overwhelmed IT staff. But this can cause severe security issues. For example, a compensation manager in the HR department should no longer have access to payroll when they move to a financial analyst role in another department. When you select an IAM, what you, what you have to do is make sure that the employee state changes trigger automa automated or automatic mechanisms that properly manage the employee access. And when a user comes to the end of the life cycle, your IAM must make it easy to offer these users that are now no longer employees. Users are assigned one or more roles, usually based on their job function and are automatically granted access as per the definitions for that role. Just as it can be time consuming to provision users, it can be time consuming to deprovision them from all the apps and systems to which they have access. Sometimes administrators grant additional privileges to users to critical file servers or specific purposes like auditing and forget to revoke those privileges when the purpose is served. Users with the access, excessive rights 
might have access to classified information, which could then be stolen. Making changes to AD permissions without having them reviewed first is one of the biggest problems that we are facing, right? So it's essential to have an access control policy wherein every action is reviewed so that the users are prevented from gaining unauthorized privileges. Now, the best course of action is to follow a review process where every user's change request is evaluated by a manager before it's transferred to an IT admin. Now, each request, such as access to critical shares or changes to your group memberships, must be reviewed by an IT manager or a team lead to ensure that your resources are not compromised. Now, in traditional enterprise employee management, human resource teams work in tandem with the IT teams on an ad hoc basis to provision accounts for new hires and deprovision accounts when the employees leave. Now, besides that, there are constant updates to employee profiles based on team or location changes, which needs to be addressed immediately. Now, this dependency on external teams can create bottlenecks in employee onboarding and increase security risks when access rights of the former employees are not revoked in time. By integrating your HRMS system app and with your AD or other platforms can synchronize the data stored in the HRMS employee information with the corresponding fields in AD. This process can protect data integrity avoid data entry errors, tighten security, and save time normally spent on managing the properties of accounts. Right, so no IT team has the time or the resources to monitor every action taken on a business network. Human and device identities make a massive number of access requests every day in a typical enterprise, and the hackers can easily slip under the radar if the automated monitoring tools are in place. A lack of agility and adaptability in permissions increases the burden on IT departments, requiring staff members to handle application authorizations, integration requests, provisioning, and deprovisioning. Finding and addressing dead or orphaned accounts can also uh, fall under the purview of the IT team and the process can take a significant amount of time or effort if the company has perhaps undergone a change in staffing. So handling these responsibilities leaves little time to evaluate the risk levels, address security alerts, and launch protective measures against potential breach activity. Now, today's IT professionals need the help of updated IAM systems with intelligent monitoring and controls to ensure the highest level of protection. Moreover, the privacy, the modern privacy regulations like the GDPR, the HIPAA, the SOCs demand detailed network audit information and strongly and strong security protocols to keep the data in safe, safe hands. Now, companies uh, with industries, for example, which will have strict laws like the banking industry or the BFSI sector or the finance sector dictating the protection of highly sensitive information such as health records or financial data, that particular industry will need your IAM solution with detailed monitoring and reporting tools. The modern IAM solutions will help decrease the management complexity and the hardware costs to provide better user experience that will boost productivity across the enterprise. Now that we have covered what exactly uh, or why you need to move to a modern IAM, move on from the native tools, move on from the solutions that you've been using for a long time, but simply you've not looked beyond it because you've been doing it and we assume that that's the best way forward. Now, one of the tools that uh, is available in our AD solution suite is called AD Manager Plus. The tool is basically an active directory management and reporting software. It offers um, provisioning of objects, uh, take, taking stock of all the privileges and permissions with the help of predefined reports. You do not have to resort to scripts to get to that. You also have a um, secure way of delegating privileges to other IT users or even non-admin users 
uh, so that you know some of your bur burden is taken off your uh, task list. Instead, you can also maintain a very strict control of the privileges that you've given to these users with the help of audit reports. And on top of that, if you want to automate some of the routine actions that you perform you know, in a day-to-day -day environment, like provisioning users or resetting passwords or unlocking accounts or removing the Office 365 privileges or the licenses, then the tool helps you automate those actions as well. Now coming to the topic for today is how we're going to um, improve the current IAM system and how AD Manager Plus is going to help you with that. First one that I want to talk about is integration with the HRMS tools. Now AD Manager Plus itself supports integration with the HRMS tools like Bamboo HR, uh, Workday, Zoho People, it's, which is an in-house HRMS solution, and Auntie Pro. So as of now, we support integration with these tools. And if you, if your HRMS tool is using MS SQL or Oracle as its database, then you can integrate your product, the AD Manager Plus product with this particular uh, database so that whatever details the HR is entering in the HRMS portal will get auto-populated or will get fetched by the tool and the accounts be provisioned in AD and other applications. Now, this aspect is not just restricted to provisioning. In case if there are any employee changes, when the, for example, when the employee is being transferred from one department to another or from one location to another, there is a promotion. The corresponding attributes change, like the reporting to the location attributes, the permissions that they entail, all of that will be automatically updated as well. So when the HR is entering all those details or editing those details in the HRMS application, then the tool can be configured in such a way to fetch those details, the new updated information, and the corresponding attributes can be updated in AD as well as the other platforms, right? So these are some of the um, ways in which you can um, use the HRMS integration. And most importantly, the another, another aspect is deprovisioning of accounts. The most of the time, as I said, we tend to overlook those stale accounts that are in our organization. For example, employees who have left the organization, OUs that are empty, groups that are empty, again, they're unused, but they have all the privileges intact. Now, it's not a good idea to leave all this uh, just lying there so that any attacker could be an insider, a malicious insider, or a cyber attacker from outside who has gained access to your system or network will could um, misuse these stale accounts to gain access to your data, right? So having a regular periodic review of all these stale accounts or rather setting up a configuration wherein anytime a user is leaving the organization, the first order of business is to deprovision those accounts. By deprovisioning, not just deleting those accounts straight up, you start off with maybe isolating them by moving them to a different container, removing their group privileges, their licenses that are linked to their account, the other accounts, the other platforms, the accounts such as Microsoft 365 or Skype, if you're using any of those applications that are linked to that accounts, moving the mailbox, exporting the mailbox content, and so on. So all these applications should also be taken care of when we are deprovisioning those accounts. Now, if you're doing those actions one by one, it's not easy. Sometimes we just tend to push it to the, um, you know, a, a separate task, another task, which we'll take care when we get there. But it's not a good good idea to just leave it at that. What you can do is you can configure the AD Manager Plus solution, wherein it will fetch those details as and when the user is being. Uh, you know, to, le has left the organization and the HR is making the corresponding details, then that particular uh, details can be fetched and the corresponding actions can be configured in Active Directory, which will help in deprovisioning, right? And when you are creating user accounts for different designations or different roles, you also want to establish a certain level of uniformity be it even if, if you're a single member team or if you're a multi-admin team, each of you might be using different ways to go about it. 
but that could bring about inconsistency or errors by provisioning. So to establish that sort of consistency when you're provisioning accounts or when you're modifying the user accounts, we have intelligent templates which will help you assist with that. By templates, what you can do is you can completely configure all those attributes that are relevant to that particular team or that particular domain. And once that's done, what you can do is every time you are provisioning a user for a specific department or a specific role, then the tool will automatically fetch those details which are auto filled for that particular department or role or a designation and the users will be provisioned accordingly. So all you have to do is you just have to leave out the unique attributes of the user which you can manually enter but the rest of the common attributes for example the, the manager field, the permissions, the group attributes, the contact attributes, all of those, the location, the title, the department they belong to, so on and so forth, can be already configured, pre-configured, and which can be used anytime you're provisioning accounts, right? Even when you're modifying accounts, when the department of a user is being altered, then you can trigger certain changes that will be automatically updated in your Active Directory as well. For example, if the department is moved, then the manager has to be updated, the location has to be updated, the description of the employee has to be updated, and so on. Uh, so that can also be pre-configured. And you also want to keep uh, track or keep stock of all those privileges, all those changes that are happening, or what has been the what has been my uh, set of users' permissions? Are there any excessive privileges? Are they part of any? is a regular user part of any top level security group and so on and so forth. To keep track of all of that, there are 200 plus reports, predefined reports, which will just allow you to pick the domain and OU of your choice, the report of your choice, and then hit generate. Right? Once you do that, you will get up-to-date up information of the report that you requested for. And that particular report can either be exported in multiple formats, or you, in fact, if you do not want to uh, check the tool and get the report that you want every time you want some information, instead you want the report to be sent to your inbox on a stipulated date and time, then you can configure that as well. You can add multiple email addresses or a single email addresses if you're a single member team. And most importantly is that the, pro the topic that we covered earlier also is keeping track of the changes. Most of the time the requests are sent to you without any context and you grant those permissions or you take care of those requests without understanding why this particular user has requested for it. Is it absolutely necessary? Is the request valid? And so on. So when it comes to um, such a dilemma, the best way to ensure that the request is being vetted by a, a, a team lead or a team manager who will take care of the request or who will review the request which has been raised by an employee. And if it looks good and if it's approved at that particular stage, then only he'll be passed on to you for execution. Right? So there would be no question of any unauthorized changes that, that, that has been done. And only if the request is rejected, then the request will never be sent to you for execution, meaning you are preventing a big change or, or an undesirable change in the network that has been requested. And of course, you want to keep track or be aware of the changes that has been happening. So we need real-time alerts for that. The tool also lets you configure email and SMS alerts in case of any important changes, which can be customized as well. So these are some of the examples which or some of the features in the product which will help you improve your existing IAM situation, where, what are the pitfalls of your current um, IAM situation, the tool that you're using, maybe you're using a native tool or, or any other third party tool. And if you need uh, a tool which is going to help you achieve that, then AD Manager Plus will be an ideal solution. So if you have any questions about the tool as such, then what you can, what I would recommend is getting in touch with our technical support. So I will be pushing a poll right now and you can raise a request with our team for a demo. So if you can list, uh, once you set up the meeting, then you can tell what challenges you're facing in your current IAM 
our tool or your environment and then our technical expert will help you uh, you know give a quick demo of what or what features in our solution will help you tackle those challenges right so i push the poll as of now and you can go ahead and fill in uh, the your responses the second poll is going to be the feedback so um, just pushing the first poll as of now so this is a live poll i will see the entries as and when um, i receive them so if you're currently evaluating ed manager plus or if you're an existing customer and if you need some assistance with our team member to get in touch with you then you can definitely go ahead and give yes for the second question thank you for giving your responses the second one is going to be a feedback of today's session 